Hello, hello. Hi, everyone. This is Sonam Toronto Channel, greeting you. Who is Dalai Lama? I love when some people are putting negative comments about His Holiness, the Dalai Lama. Why? Just to gain money and fame? I feel sorry for them. <clears throat> By the way, I'm Sonam, a Tibetan Canadian living in Toronto. For the past few days, the short edited video called Suck My Tongue about His Holiness went viral. It's, it is just a few seconds of clip that purposely made it uh, haters like that. And those comments I went through left me and my Tibetan people much disturbed. Let me explain why to you. Why they don't show complete video? Please watch the full video and you will understand. On February 28th, Thousands of people attended to get Dalai Lama's blessing in front of Dalai Lama's temple. It was broadcasted live. All this happened in front of kids' parents too. He did that unintentionally. His holiness is not fluent in English. Question. Can I hug you? It was amazing meeting His Holiness and I think it's a really great experience meeting somebody with such high positive energy. It's a really nice feeling meeting him and you get a lot of that positive energy. It's not just like that, but once you get the positive energy, I think you're happier and it's a better thing and you smile a lot more. It was a really good experience of all. I'm Dr. Payal Kanodia, trustee M3M Foundation. We've been working in Dharamshala on this uh, skill center, which we started last year. And since then, we were looking at seeking blessings from His Holiness. And, you know, today we got this opportunity and especially when my family was there with me and the, all the students who graduated from I Am Power Academy of Skills were also present. We are totally, totally blessed to have got these blessings from His Holiness. He came, addressed us in person, taught about peace that wo the world needs and how everyone needs to feel together like brother and sister. And I, I absolutely cannot you know, express how I feel getting blessed by him. Thank you. He always liked to play around. His nature is pure and innocent. He always entertain us and make us happy. In our culture, showing tongue is a mark of respect and greetings. It means that you have no poison in your mind and body. Actually, suck my tongue would be eat my tongue, translation, English, which basically means I have nothing to offer you. The 14 Dalai Lama is a man of peace. The Dalai Lama, Dalai Lamas are the manifestation of the Bodhisattva of compassion. Please don't underestimate him. He is our guru and a god. His whole life was committed for the welfare of others. In this world, we need more people like him who can contribute peace to this world. He who can treat all human beings the same and oneness. His whole life has given us humanity. He taught us how to do mental hygiene. 
he who committed his life for others. Look at his motto. It's other before self. He has no bank account, no property, and he is the only sincere practitioner in this modern world, I would say. Whoever judge him or accuse him, I would say, is a sin. What goes around, what comes around. Today, with my heavy heart, I urge you, please, to stop this nonsense accusation to His Holiness, the Dalai Lama. Please, no more negative comments. As 7 million Tibetan people heard with the words like pedophilia or child molester and so on. He is 87 years old and not a pedophilia. Remember, he's not. That's not true. Yes, they talk about children's safety, blah, blah, blah. If you really worry and concern about children's safety, then fight with China. Today, one million of Tibetan children as young as five years old taking from their home by force from their parents to colonial boarding school in Beijing to eradicate our culture and language. If you are one of the parents, how do you feel about that? We have been suffering tremendously under the Chinese hand for the past 70 years. Nobody talk about that. Why? Because that shows how this evil world is we live in. It shows us how selfish we are. Nobody gives a crap. China bullies not only Tibetans, remember, but everywhere. Everywhere. And finally, my wish is, who do you trust the most? My answer would be, the one and only, His Holiness, the Dalai Lama. Not even my parents. You know what I mean. Thank you.